what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be giving miss inconsistent a run for her money because i am hiring somebody to take over my whole social media page for one month just to see if it makes any type of difference but let me first off start by saying i have been very very busy to say the least i am forcing myself to be consistent by paying somebody one thousand dollars to take over my whole social media account you know if you pay for something you do it okay that's what i need to be consistent we're gonna just try this out and what better way to support a freelancer a girl boss somebody who's taking the leap of faith by investing into them doing a video doing a challenge on youtube and you know what let's just let's just see if this works and also using things that are easy for me to allow um the control freak in me to still have some type of control <laughs> Not con mm, yeah to just have some type of input but also doing something that i'm comfortable with and using a platform that i've used so in this video i'm gonna just go ahead and let me just let me just go ahead and jump right into the video so first things first i found a freelancer from fiverr if you guys have not heard of fiverr fiverr is great because you could basically find any and everything on fiverr and people will do it whether that is um floor plans or designs or mood boards you guys have seen fiverr in one of my videos before um you could have somebody manage your social media page curate your feed edit your videos um, photography all of that so I'm finding a social media manager on Fiverr and together we had agreed to curate my whole Instagram feed on Canva. Now Canva is not new to my channel either. You guys saw in one of my videos where I um, basically were telling y'all like y'all can freelance like people who are good with design aesthetic and colors and all of that. You can basically have a whole side hustle or main hustle career off of curating and making mood boards and brand boards for people on canva for free but this freelancer actually encouraged me to get canva pro um, which is something that you paid for i personally have never paid for canva but after using canva pro i realized that camera pro is just the plug so I originally created this social media kit for the freelancer to basically show her everything that I have already created for my brand thus far. As you can see, I came up with a branding color palette. I have my logos here in two different options. I also have a white option, but obviously it wouldn't have looked good on a white background. And then you go into Canva and you could insert your logos inside and then you can copy the color codes that you got from Canva and you can type those in. And when you enter these in, it makes it super seamless and easy and effortless for you to go ahead and use the same exact colors versus guessing what color was used. You can also see that when you are creating content, these colors will automatically pop up as branded colors on the side um, whenever you're creating Instagram stories or even in feed posts. And you can also enter the brand fonts to create cohesion. If all of your Instagram stories or your in-feed posts have the same type of font, it just looks more seamless. And if you have a font that Canva doesn't have, you can go ahead and download it straight into Canva so that you can use a custom font that you have. And the best way that we went about doing this was actually I would grab kind of my favorite Instagram stories or my favorite in-feed posts and then I would create them into a separate folder so that the freelancer could see what kind of posts I like. And then what we would do is I would see what kind of content I needed to create to appeal to the templates and then i would go ahead and insert my own quotes from the books that i would read in the morning or even some things that just resonated with me throughout the day and you can see that all of my branded colors are right here for me to choose from and then what i would do is i created a list and from the list i would create content and then she would plug in the content that i took and put the and put them in the templates into canva after we chose the templates, we would go ahead and schedule it out in the content planner. 
and then I would kind of just approve or deny and I also had the ability to change the colors myself which was great because it gave me um, it gave me an opportunity to become included into the creation process and also allow her to do most of the setup and the coordination and the editing of the content that I that I provided for her so in these 30 days all I basically had to do is provide the content for freelancer i have taken photos i have had videos products that i love things that i love where for me the hardest part of creating consistent content is making it how i want it um i if you guys watch my videos you guys know i love spilling all the information giving valuable content or i feel like i like i mean you know i personally like to give information i'm not the type of person who likes to just record myself without a, some type of purpose or intention so there's so many products that i have been loving that i have been using these this past year i have learned so much about my body and my mind and my spirit and basically i just needed help making all of it um come i needed help basically packaging all of it up and sharing it with you guys now granted i don't have to make it pretty or polished but for me my Virgo moon is like, sis, if it doesn't look good, if it doesn't feel good, if it doesn't smell good, we're not even posting. So instead of being an all or nothing type of person, this freelancer is going to be the middleman and basically making all of my things into something that I feel comfortable and confident with sharing. The first thing that I liked about Camera Pro is that it basically, you don't have to, you, the, your freelancer doesn't really have to ask questions. You can add your team members to your Camera Pro account and you can basically see everything that they're doing so there's no questions about my logo there's no questions about the fonts that i like and there's no questions about the color codes that i like so um and you can find out how to do all of these things in my last video where i was talking about how canva is basically the cheat code for graphic design without being a graphic designer you can basically put any type of photo into canva and pull colors from that photo into so this little button right here basically tells you all of the colors and this is important because one a lot of people don't even know that you can do this any picture that you put on canva you can click the little color box and basically get all of the colors that are pulled from the actual photo that you put in so now to create a mood board we're going to do a whole bunch of circle then we're going to choose a second and boom we already have a mood board but say they're also wanting as somebody who loves canva i thought this was the perfect opportunity to collaborate with canva just to see how great their canva pro account works for me and a freelancer so i would say that my favorite thing about camera pro is that you can actually schedule out the post using the schedule allows me and her to know exactly what's to be posted how it's supposed to be posted and how it's going to look another thing that i like like i said me being a little bit of a control freak and not being able to necessarily see the progress of people doing work for your company is if I log into Canva, I can see exactly what she's doing and what progress she has made. If I personally don't like the color of the font that she used, I can easily switch the font and also give her constructive feedback. It basically makes it super quick and super easy for everyone to be on the same page and no mistakes to be made. Camera Pro has everything that you need in one place and it also includes over 75 million photos, videos, audio and graphics so that you can use. And it's a quick, easy and affordable way to design. If you are a new upcoming business owner or somebody who wants to make a flyer or a birthday invitation, it really, you don't need any type of graphic design background. Everything's kind of just clicked to the touch and it just makes everything so much easier than trying to create something in Photoshop or AI. I know you business owners, people who want to make party invitations, flyers, posters, logos, or even labels for the house, see what I did on Camera Pro. And you guys can try Camera Pro for 45 days for free by going to canva.me slash findguru. At the end of this, I will decide if I want to continue to move forward with a freelancer or if this is something that I can maintain myself. The good thing about this is once you basically get into the flow of creating the content, I would then be able to just plug new photos or new videos into the templates that were already created for me. Yes, so that's all the content that was created. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bisous!